What's up guys, this is Jake, and in this video I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can set up Google Shopping ads for your Shopify store. So this video is actually going to be a compilation of a couple of training videos put together in the one. So if you enjoy it and you find it helpful, go ahead and leave the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Alright guys, so welcome inside the Google Shopping section of the Google Ads training. So this video is going to be a basic overview of what Google Shopping is and how we're going to go ahead and utilize it. So when you're um, advertising using the Google Shopping ads, uh, one thing that's a lot different than the rest of the Google ads, especially the search ads we've already went over, is that you cannot go out and select keywords in Google Shopping like you do in Google Search. So as you've already seen in Google Search, we can select which keywords we want to show up for. In Google Shopping, we can't do that. So with Shopping, what it does is Google shows your ad in the shopping feed based on information from your product listing. So it's kind of similar to SEO, which is search engine optimization, if you're familiar with that. So Google Shopping determines um, when to show your product in the product feed based off of your product title, your product description, and things like that. So what we need to do is optimize our product listing to make it more likely to show up for some related search terms. So we're going to be getting into that in a later video. And then once the campaign is running, we go ahead and optimize it using the same negative keywords training from a previous video. And then the scaling process with Google Shopping is very similar to the scaling method that we already went over in a previous training as well. So really quickly, I'm just going to show you what a Google Shopping ad looks like, and then we'll go ahead and get into actually um, how we set it up. So we're sticking with our same sample product here, and you can see these are the shopping ads right here. So these ads are showing up because they have information that is optimizing them to show up for posture corrector. Um, they're not actually bidding for the same keyword, like I said. So you can see there's a lot of shopping ads and there's actually a separate tab for shopping as well. So this is what we're going to be um, advertising for. So and that's, uh, that's it for the overview. And in the next video, we're going to get into how you can go ahead and set up your Merchant Center account and link it and get started with Google Shopping. So I'll see you on that one. Okay, so in order to get started with Google Shopping, we need to go ahead and sign up for um, Merchant Center. Now, Merchant Center is kind of funny about setting up multiple accounts, so I can't actually go through the sign-up process again because I already have an account. So... Um, all you need to do is Google Merchant Center and then start to sign up right here. And then you'll get it in here to a page like this. You'll have to enter your website. And then once you do enter your website, we're just going to have to go ahead and verify and claim that we own the URL. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just click fix it. And then it's pretty simple. We're just going to go ahead and verify our URL here. So all we need to do is come down here to HTML tag. And we're going to copy this bit of code. And then we're going to come over here, go to themes, online store themes, actions, edit code. And then we're going to go ahead and go to theme.liquid right here. And then right here under where it says head, we're going to go ahead and put in that code right there. Now, as you can see, I already have a site verification code in here that I put in there a couple days ago. So you would just go ahead and paste it in right there and then hit save and then come back over here and hit verify. And if it's unable to verify, that's because you haven't disabled your store password yet. So if your store password is still enabled, it's not going to be able to verify that the code is there. All right, so now we're inside the demo uh, Merchant Center sub account that I created for the sample store here. And there's a couple things we need to set up. So uh, when you get in here after you've went ahead and verified your website, you need to come up to these three dots, and then we're going to go to account linking. And what you need to do is you should go ahead and see your Google Ads customer ID here, assuming you signed up for Merchant Center and Google Ads with the same email. And then you'll just need to click link right here. 
and then what you'll go ahead and do is go into Google Ads and there'll be a notification up top on Google Ads and you'll click it and you just confirm the link between Merchant Center and Google Ads. And after you do that, you need to come back here and go to these three dots then go to Merchant Center Programs and Shopping Ads, Dynamic Remarketing, and Customer Reviews. You want to enable these three and we don't need to worry about these three right now so you just want to enable these three right here and then your account is good to go and the last thing we need to set up is shipping so what you can do is you can come down here and click on shipping and then we're going to go ahead and add a shipping service now depending on the shipping service you have in your store that's the shipping service you can add here so if you're doing free shipping then you just go ahead and add that in so you literally just are going to go through Add a new shipping service, fill all of this information out with wh whatever shipping you offer in your store. Now you want to make sure that it matches up directly or else it's going to mess up and the shopping feed, the shopping ads won't get approved. So you just need to make sure that when you're filling out the shipping that whatever shipping you offer in here, pricing and everything matches exactly with the shipping service in here. And then once you have that set up, you are good to go. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead and get in, into actually adding our product inside of a feed inside Merchant Center so we can go ahead and start running shopping ads. All right, so now we need to go ahead and set up our product feed, which is going to be a relatively simple process considering we only have one product. So what we're going to do is head over to products here and come down to feeds and you can see I already set up a feed that's pending right now because I wanted to go ahead and do it ahead of time so that way I could show you uh, what it looks like once it's done but we're gonna go ahead and go to feeds and what we're going to be doing is a lot of times you can go ahead and set up your feed by using the Google Shopping app but um, like I said earlier Google Shopping pulls data from your product page, product listing to go ahead and decide when and for what keywords it's going to show your product for. So the downside of this is we don't really write our descriptions to be SEO friendly. We write our descriptions to sell and we do the same thing with the title as well. We don't really want SEO titles and descriptions to be on our actual product page. However, that is what we actually want for Google Shopping ads. So there's a way that we can go ahead and optimize our feed for Google Shopping without actually messing up our product page and getting rid of the sales copy because sales copy isn't really going to help us rank in Google Shopping, but it is going to help convert people once they land on our site. So what we're going to be doing is creating a feed through a Google document. So I already have a feed right here, which I'll open in a second. What you would do is you're going to create a feed, new primary feed, select language English, and destinations would be shopping ads. And then you would hit continue. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a Google sheet for this feed. And then you can name the feed just your product, your store, whatever you want. And we're going to use this Google Sheet to go ahead and input the information we need for our feed. Then we just hit continue and begin. But since I already have a feed, I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Now, once you have the feed, we're going to be taken to a sheet that looks like this. And you're going to see there's a lot of different um, categories here that we need to fill out. So the first one here is ID and this is how uh, we just go ahead and use to keep track of products and usually this is more impactful when you have hundreds of products that are going in Google Shopping but in this case uh, we only have one product so I just put PC for the store name and then 001 since it's the first product and then what I went ahead and did is um, the title next. So for the title here we want to go ahead and stuff as many keywords in it as possible. Now, when it comes to looking for inspiration for Google Shopping titles and descriptions, we can actually go ahead and open up the search terms for Google Shopping and see what the other people, um, other sellers have in their um, titles and descriptions as well. So when it comes to the title, 
you don't want it to you want it to put as many keywords in it as possible but you also want it to be legible because this is the title that people are going to see on the google shopping ad so the cool thing about this sheet is it lets us essentially keyword stuff things in here without actually having to ruin our landing page so as you can see here for this example i put number one rated posture brace adjustable posture corrector for men and women so i managed to put in a bunch of keywords in there but the title still doesn't sound completely stupid so it w it'll still look okay if somebody sees that on the google shopping feed so the next section right here is the description which is probably the most important one so this is where we can go ahead and keyword stuff a bunch of our different keywords so you can see for the description i put number one rated magnetic back brace posture corrector improves posture relieves back pain prevents slouching fixes rounded shoulders and you can see these are all things that people could be searching they could be searching uh, back brace for posture back brace for back pain back brace to fix rounded shoulders these are all things that could be searched so i want to have all these potential keywords in the descriptions so that way we can show up for as many of them as possible in the shopping feed and then uh, super comfortable hypoallergenic worn under clothes for men and women and then available in our colors machine washable latex free so we want to go ahead and put in as much details as possible so it's kind of almost opposite to how we write product descriptions because product descriptions we want to kind of tell a story we want to sell people uh, with Google Shopping descriptions, we want to just put in the actual um, specifics, the features, um, almost kind of similar to how um, the AliExpress uh, descriptions are. So we all know how terrible they look on the um, product page if you're to leave them like that. But in this case, we just want to put in here nothing but keywords and details about the products. That way we show up for as many things as possible. So that's how we go ahead and go out there and write our descriptions here and using um, this Google Sheet for our shopping feed instead of an app allows us to keyword stuff our description without actually ruining our conversion rate by doing it on our product page. So the next thing is the product link. So this is pretty self-explanatory. We would just grab the product link right here by copying it and then pasting it right here. Then we put in the product condition new. We put in our product price, which our price is $29.99. Availability and stock. Image link. So the image you want to show up. So I believe I chose one of these images when I set this up. So you want to put in a clean image with a white background. So any of these images would have been fine. I think I showed one of these because I figured... Um, the product on the model might do a little bit better but you want to do a clean image with a white background for the image link so to get the image link just come in here and preview and then copy image address and then put it there and the gtin is something that we're probably not going to have for aliexpress products however um, same with the MPN, but the thing is we do need to put in a number for at least one of these or the Google Shopping feed won't go ahead and optimize. So for the MPN, what I like to do is I just come down to the SKU right here and I copy that and put that in for the MPN. And then brand is just the name of the store. And then the next part, Google product category, we'll get to in a second because that's one of the longer ones. And then uh, gender, um, in this case it's unisex. So if your product's only for men, it'd be male. If your product's only for female, or for women, it'd be female. And then the age group is adult. The majority of time, uh, your age group is going to be adult. And no, it's not adult as in, like, adult entertainment. It's just adult as in uh, you're older than 12. So now let's go ahead and get back to the Google product category. And this is essentially describing what category um, in the Google taxonomy that our product fits in. So in order to find that, we need to open up Google, and go to Google, product category, and then we can see product taxonomy right here. And this is a very huge list, so it's going to take a little while to sort through. So in this case, for this specific product, what I did was I did control F for brace. So bracelets is no. 
Wall jacks and braces, no. I think I skipped one. Scroll down more to the next one. So we can see health and beauty, healthcare, supports and braces. So that's pretty much what our product is. What we wanna do is narrow down our product to fit the most specific categories possible. So you can see there's broad categories, health and beauty, then there's healthcare, fitness and nutrition, nutrition bars. And you can see it just gets more and more specific the more categories that are added in. So we wanna find the category out of all of these that matches our product as specifically as possible and then just go ahead and copy it and paste it in here now the thing that we need to do is um, we don't actually have to go ahead and look through all of these because you can see we just need to find the broad category we're in and then we just look through that category itself so if your products in home and garden we would only need to look through the home and gardens and we can narrow it down so it doesn't take as long as you think we don't actually have to look through this whole page so if your product is in baby and toddler, then we only need to look through these and then we can narrow it down and then we select which category um, describes our product the best. And then we go ahead and put that in here. And then after you have done that, you are done editing it. And if at, at any time you wanna go in here, edit the description, edit the title, edit any of this, you can actually go ahead and do that by doing what I just did, which I come in here to feeds and then hit open. And then you can see that uh, whenever you update it, it'll say last upload date. And what we need to go ahead and do now is once this is set up, we can go to diagnostics and it'll tell us if there's an issue with our feed and if everything's done right there won't be and what it's going to do is it's going to go into a pending state right here and normally it's going to pend for sometimes about a week or so before we can actually start running ads so once this goes from pending to active then we can go ahead and create a shopping campaign with this product feed which i'll show you how to do in the next video so i'll see you in the next training all right guys so in this video we're going to go ahead and set up our shopping campaign so we're inside of google ads and i went ahead and click create a new campaign and what we're going to do is create a campaign without a goals guidance and then we're going to select shopping and then down here we just need to select the merchant center account with our products in it so i'm going to go ahead and do that And then once you have that, we can go ahead and select the country. And then we're just going to go ahead and do a standard shopping campaign and hit continue. And then we can just name this whatever you want be pretty detailed about it and for the bidding strategy here we're going to go ahead and use manual cpc and then keep checked help increase conversions and then for the budget we can go ahead and put this at 30 dollars you can start this at less if you want but i like to get it testing pretty quickly so we'll go ahead and start with 30 Cam campaign priority we only have one shopping campaign so we can keep this at low We're going to uncheck Google search partners. We have United States. And then right here, we just hit save and continue. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into our ad group next. So we're gonna stick with product shopping, name our ad group. And then we're going to set our bid so in this case we're going to set our bid based off of the keywords um, that we took a look at during keyword research so in this case i'll set the bid the same thing i did for the search ad so we'll just start out setting the bid at a dollar and then hit save and then from there we are good to go and then we can let this test campaign run for a couple days then come back and analyze the results